Hello. That's sun. Hmm. Well, I'm grateful it shows up every day. Uh, I can change this. Hello. Yes. So my, my daughter Rachel says that, yes, if I push that little screen, that uh, push the screen that says bring them on camera, that that person will show up on camera. I would never do <laughs> A bunch of you were screaming, no, don't do that last night. And I would never do it. I mean, I might do it to my kids, just because I like them. That's why you have kids. To mess with them. That's one reason. <clears throat> I hope everyone is well. I'm feeling much better uh, than I was last night. Thank you for all the, the warm wishes. Um, I was whining a lot. Just very unattractive. But um, I am feeling better, and uh, I just think I was exhausted. I think that was part of it. And today I did a lot of driving. We have not quite gotten uh, used to being on the subway again. And uh, so I'm the chauffeur. I'm the only one who drives. Alyssa doesn't drive. It's a long story. Um, she drives, uh, she used to drive, we lived in New Hope, Pennsylvania for, that's another long story, for like nine months. And she learned to drive there because we had no other choice. So we had two cars and our Mercer was in first grade. And, um, but she never really drove before that. And she hasn't driven since. And Mercer has not, he's a New York City kid. He doesn't really have the need to drive and um, or, nor the desire and that was a huge oh god when I was a kid that was that was a huge thing get your license and, and driver's ed class it was in school and uh, I had a 66 Mustang that was my first car can you believe that it was beautiful blue some kind of blue, but, uh, metallic blue? It might have been metallic blue. Anyway, that was fun. But that's, you know, so Mercer doesn't, so I'm the only one who drives. So I drive, and he had two, uh, it, <laughs> I start going down these roads, telling, telling these stories, I'm saying, why, who cares? Just get up, you know, sit down and play. Um, but, um, my family's tired of me talking, me, you know, I don't talk nearly as much to my family as I do to you people, you people. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, a lot of driving today and uh, two dental appointments, separate dental appointments and uh, drove Alyssa to work and picked her up from work and, da, 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 and then parking, I mentioned, yes, it's the same, yeah, same as yesterday. Um, and then I left, started a new book, and um, I left it in the car, so I had to go get it after this, this gig. So, um, yes, night 116, and um, I have these little notes here. I haven't used a note in weeks. <laughs> When I have certain things to say, now I just totally wing it. When everything is uncertain, everything that is important seems clear. Yes, I remember saying that. And that, not much has changed. Can you believe what's going on? It's, it's, it's someone's great American novel. It's not even a novel. Someone's going to write this. Who would we want to write what's happening? 
I don't know if anyone ever wrote, uh, read Underworld. I think that's one of the great American novels. Big, epic um, story. I have to read that. It's up in the country. I'm going to bring it home anyway. But someone's got to write this story. Besides history. And history will write this. And then the school systems will change it and water it down. And no one will believe it. And it was all fake and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to play. And thank you so much <coughs> for being here. <coughs> Excuse me.